bag contains five nut chocolates, six raspberry chocolates, ten caramel chocolates, two chocolates selected at random um, from the bag. Calculate the probability that both are raspberry chocolates. Lovely. So both raspberry, you, you know, we could use R then, yeah? R and R, right? So you've got six chances out of, I don't know how many are there. Is it 21? I think it's 21, isn't it? Okay. Um, yeah. First one's raspberry. Second one's raspberry then. Well, there's one less raspberry in there now because one's been taken out. But there's also one less uh, chocolates in there. So that means 20. So work this out. 6 times 5 on the top is 30. 21 times 20 is 420. Okay. Um, I did that quite quickly because I know 20 times 20 is 400. Yeah. You know, 2 times 2 is, is 4 at the two zeros. So then, if I know that's the case, then I know 21 times 20 is an extra 20. Okay, so that's how I did that so quick. But you'd be expected to do this sort of thing in, in an exam non-calculator. B then, calculate the probability that at least one of the selected chocolates is caramel chocolates. At least one, again, right? You've got this, this thing about at least one. So that means you're going to have um, chocolate. What should we do? C for, choc for caramel? So it's C um, or not C. Okay, or C. Uh, not C and C, or of course they both could be caramel. Okay, now um, I'll write here how many are caramel. You've got 10 caramel, which means not caramel at 11. So you've got to work out now each of these, right? Um, so caramel, not caramel, you've got 10 chances out of 21 times not caramel 11 chances out of 20 because one's been taken out, the caramel has been taken out. So you've got 110 on the top, 420 on the bottom. Um, not caramel, caramel. This will be the same answer, won't it? You've got 11 chances out of 20 times then 10 chances out of 21. I'm getting, sorry, I'm getting confused here now. I'm getting this messed up. At the end of the day, that should be 21 to start with, isn't it? Okay. You've got not caramel, not caramel to start with. You've got 11 chances out of 21 because there's 21 there. But then um, you take one out, so that means you're left them with 20 in there, okay? And then you've got 10 chances of it being caramel. So this would be 110 again, okay? 110, yeah? <laughs> out of 420, okay? And then you've got um, both caramel. So both caramel, you've got 10 chances of it being caramel. So 10 out of 21 times then, well, then the second one, there's only nine chances and there's 20 left in there now, so that becomes 90 out of 400. Add them together and that becomes, um, do it down here. Okay, I put 400 there, I, I need a break. Um, okay, so add them together then and you get, I think that's 310, is it? Yeah, on the top, out of 420. Okay, all done without a calculator, you'd be expected, right, to do that. And you know, you've got your answer and you can leave it like that.